gonna learn about some different watercolor techniques to help us paint successfully with watercolor. Today I'm gonna start off by showing you how to actually create the paint. These are semi-moist watercolors, meaning they don't take a lot of water to become paint, but you must use water to activate the pigments. So you always start with putting your brush into the water, and I do not um, scrape the side. I don't do that, because I actually want all of that water on there. And you wanna start with your lightest color first, which is usually that yellow. You want to use that lightest color first so that the yellow remains clean. Now, I am getting that excess water off of my brush by just tapping it lightly on the side. And then this motion is extremely light. I'm barely applying any pressure whatsoever. And that is creating a little puddle of paint for myself. Please, at this point, do not put your brush back in the water because there is a lot of paint on this brush that can be used. You do not want to put it in the water or else that paint will go in the water and make your water dirty. All right, that is how you make the paint. I wanna show you how to fill in an area. Now, whenever you are painting, you want to fill in the entire area first. Uh, and you don't want to stop and let it dry. You can turn your paper if that makes it easier to get to certain parts of it. But you want to fill it in all the way. All right, I'm switching colors, I'm cleaning my brush. I'm gonna switch to green now. Now earlier I painted this and I let it dry because I wanted to show you what would happen if you let it dry and you haven't filled it in. So I have water on my brush, putting the water into my green, and now I have a little puddle of green. So earlier I let this dry, so now when I go to fill this in, that line is always going to show up. You can see there's a, a hard line there that shows up in the green paint, and I don't want those hard lines. So whenever I am filling in an area, I want to make sure that I fill in the entire area without stopping and letting it dry. Okay. Up next, I wanna show you how to, to blend colors on your paper or to create a gradient. Um, gradients um, are easiest to do if you kind of pre-wet the paper. So I have clean water on my brush and I'm pre-wetting this paper. This paper is watercolor paper. It is meant to absorb a lot of water. And now I can create a gradient. I'm gonna go um, red to blue. I've added water to the red paint. It takes very little water. Very gentle kind of petting of the paint, but I'm not gouging the paint. I'm gonna start on one side and paint down. And you can see that as I move away from where I first started, it's getting lighter and lighter. And I just wanna continue that down until I'm pretty much out of that red paint. Clean my brush because I'm switching colors, keeping the clean.